Common questions about moving to Thailand. The level of spoken English does vary slightly depending on what area you are living in. However, most parts that are popular with tourists do have a good level of English speakers. Nonetheless, the overall proficiency is not as high in Thailand as it is in other countries. Men and women who are interested in foreigners for romantic reasons often have an excellent level of English. In contrast, the locals who work in the markets, for example, often have a basic level of English. In general, Thailand is a very modern country and the LGBTQ community often feels welcome. In addition, Thailand itself is known to have a third gender, transgender women. But even though times have changed, some groups and individuals still have difficulty accepting people's identity, but Thailand as a whole is a very welcoming country. Thailand has made some fantastic progress in terms of poverty as we look over the last 25 years. But there have been many challenges for families in Thailand. Unfortunately, some families do fall under that poverty line. Thailand receives a large part of its wealth from other countries and due to the pandemic and very little support from officials, some residents are starting to find themselves under that poverty line. As I often say, people are people, and even though mannerisms change slightly from culture to culture, there will always be individuals who dislike other individuals for no good reason. But as mentioned, Thai people are very welcoming and friendly, and this is also extended to foreign visitors. If I ever run into somebody unfriendly, I try to look at the bigger picture. For example, in Thailand, there is an alarming rate of suicide and depression. Depression affects people's moods and can show up in many different emotions including unfriendliness and anger. So if you come across any ties that seem unfriendly, it may not mean that they dislike foreigners, but they are just having a difficult time at this moment and this is the bigger picture that's often forgotten about across cultures. But this of course is one of many potential reasons. To summarise, Thai people are known to be friendly and very kind to foreign visitors. There are two main areas to consider when deciding if you should live in the north or in the south. The first area is the overall lifestyle you are looking for and the second area is your budget. In fact, some of the cheapest areas across Asia can be found in northern Thailand. However, Northern Thailand lacks beaches and that island lifestyle. On the other hand, the south of Thailand is very rich with beaches and islands, but is more expensive than the north. Often a large misconception is that Thailand is an expensive country to live in. In fact, it's one of the best countries to live in for many foreigners as it offers an excellent standard of living. But if an individual enjoys the luxuries of life, for example living in the large apartments in central Bangkok, or hiring a boat to go island hopping each weekend, then the prices will soon add up fast. But most expats can live very comfortably in Thailand between $1,000 to $1,500. Most banks in Thailand have a 20,000 Thai baht limit, but some banks can go as high as 25,000 Thai baht. ATMs will often charge a fee that tend to be around 220 Thai baht, but again, this can change depending on the bank and the location. In addition, there may also be currency conversion fees and fees from your local bank, so it's often wise to withdraw more significant amounts at the ATM if possible. It is possible to bring a pet with you if you wish. The Thai consulate has a detailed summary of what you need to do in order to accomplish this. A link is in the description, but often this includes several health certificates, proof of ownership, etc. The pet must be over the age of four months and some breeds are excluded, such as the Pitbull Terrier, for example.
There are a few areas of concern when moving to Thailand. One of the most common types of concerns includes any potential scams. But as a whole, Thailand is a relatively safe country. Some areas have a slightly high crime index score, but interestingly, Thailand statistically has a better safety rating score than many countries, including some Western countries.